Hello, I'm calling from uh, Hamul, California. What's up? Hey, I'd like to know if we can have an honest and civil debate about our voting system without getting mad at each other. Okay. Okay, and I want to see uh, exactly where you where you are with our voting uh, Have you, you ever been we a... Have, we have a limited have amount of time today. Have you ever been a... Hello? Yeah, just get to, right get to, to it. to the point. Okay, well, I it's, it's, well, I can't do it really quickly. I, I just want to say that most people don't understand that there are no proof of citizenship requirements to vote because the Democratic Congress in 1993 voted them down. That's why there is non-citizens voting without getting caught because the system allows them to vote without getting caught. Do you actually believe that there are non-citizens voting? A, a substantial amount of non-citizens voting in this country? Uh, of course. How do you prevent a non-citizen from voting by mail? Well, they just don't count it. Say that again? They just don't count the vote. Wait, 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 wait. There's, There's no wait, wait, proof wait, 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 wait. of citizenship hold requirement. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's actually empirical studies about these things. You are aware of them, right? Yes, but it's those studies by the Brenner Center for Justice <laughs> are skewed. Okay. And some okay, of them so are you're... very inaccurate because they don't take into account that there are no proof of citizenship requirements to vote. And also, the Democrats wrote the federal law on voter fraud that began with willingly knowing, which is almost impossible to convict a non-citizen for voter fraud. They okay, can so you, stand all right, so you wait, think, finish. No, I'm not going to let you finish. You made your point. So you well, already you guys, think, that's what you do. You won't let me fit. You won't let me no, say. No, I'm the not going to let you is. take over the wait, entire wait, fucking wait, you're, show. Listen, gonna, we're, you're, we're telling you're you interrupting me every five seconds and not every five seconds. I'm going to finish a thought, or we're going to hang up. I don't have time for this today. So are you going to listen, or do you want to keep going? Go. Okay. So in terms of reality, there are studies by the Brennan Center, among many others that show that actual rates of voter fraud are minuscule if they exist at all. And the reason I'm not citing a specific one is because there are so many. Now, as is the case with guys in your sort of whatever worldview zone you're in, whether you're a far right, Scalia guy, well, libertarian, I know you're not a libertarian, I know your politics. What you guys say is you establish a belief. Your belief is, is that there's a lot of voter fraud. There's no, no, that's not true. There's a lot. Okay, you said a lot of people are voting illegally. Undocumented immigrants are voting. You said that in the beginning, or did uh, you non -citizens. misspeak? Non-citizens. I'm non -citizens. non -citizens. Okay, so a lot of non-citizens are voting, according to you. Now, there's Correct. no. Okay, so there's no evidence other than your own deduction and thought process. Now, look, I know a guy. I live in New York City. If you go in front of a place called Penn Station, you can meet a guy who will offer to sell you glue and say that he's the long-lost king of Scotland. Now, that's his belief. I could explain to him that that's not a valid belief. That's not really going to make much difference because he's pretty convinced. And my conversations with you have taken a similar course. So I get that you believe things. I get that you read some stuff, and that's great. Bravo. But as soon as we get to empirical reality, you just say that's not that's true. That's not true. And, it's oh, skewed. Can we talk about reality skewed. for a second? You, yeah, you well, didn't I answer am. my question. I asked, you a, I asked yeah. you a simple question. Okay, what is it? Go ahead. No, explains, I, explains my whole premise, which you can't No, prove. I'm explaining your whole premise because, because I'm talking about what actually can. happens. I'm talking about what actually happens. I'm not interested yes, what actually in debating happens, your premise. Tell you Let's exactly just hear the question. Happens. Let's just hear the question, then we got to go. Go ahead. we got to switch soon. Okay. How do you prevent a non-citizen from voting by mail? Answer that question. Well, here's what you do. First of all... You're not answering it. <laughs> okay. If you do that one more time, you're going to be off, so you need to calm down. All right? Can you take a deep breath? Hey, can you answer can the you question? Can you take a deep breath? Because I'm not doing this today. Can you take a deep breath? I'm taking a breath, but you better answer the question. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, buddy, take a breath. So, in terms of reality, there are already mechanisms for absentee voting. Because as an example, with absentee voting, as with every other form of voting, you still need to be a registered voter. There is a process by which you register. It just doesn't involve mandating a photo ID. 
Okay. The notion is, is you make it as easy as possible for people to vote, just as people like you should say it should be as easy as possible for people to own heavy artillery and firearms, even though the Constitution is much more ambiguous about that. So that's the answer. Again, then we also have to go again to empirical, actual reality, things that are happening in the real world. How many more people have been blocked from voting through efforts inspired by people on the right and people on the Republican side because they don't want minorities voting, they don't want young people voting? How many more people are being prevented and interfered with voting by those means versus maybe, and if I'm being really generous, if I was to grant your premise, maybe there have been about five undocumented citizens who voted by an absentee ballot. That is a stretch. There's no documented cases of this. There's nothing. So unless you believe in like an industrial level conspiracy theory that involves the Brennan Center and the Democratic Party and probably George Soros, you have no reality grounds to stand on. And what you do when you make policy is you look at what's actually happening and then you weigh priorities. It's a much higher priority to help deliver access to voting in underserved areas than solve an imaginary problem. So those are the answers to your question. Do you have any answers to my well, actually, questions? Do you have any data? Well, yeah, but, Do you have any data? Uh, yes. First of all, data. Yes. Here, first of all, you're you you're, you're way off. Uh, Ooh, Indiana. That was good was data. The first state. Good data. Indiana was the first state that went to photo ID laws that was challenged by the Supreme Court, and they actually won. That's but not the point. Oh, yeah, they won in a right wing court. That's shocking. What, what's what's the point? Are you going to let me finish? Like you get the filibuster and I can't respond? Uh, I, I, I do get here? the filibuster. I want you to ask you really nice answer to answer my question. Microphone. Answer the question. That's what you're Mr. Answer the question. To answer to me. First of, no, you're first not of answering all, it. You answer my question. I did answer your question. The question is, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that Indiana, the first state that had photo ID, their voter registration went up from 52% to 58%. North Carolina... Amongst what demographics? What demographics? Wait, what demographics did they go up? No, what demographics? Up. That's a very up. important... Nobody's up. being prevented. Not one citizen what has denied the right to vote. What demographics did it go up under? Not one citizen. What demographics? Citizen. What, demographics? what demographics? What demographics did it go up under? What demographics did it go up under? What do you mean with demographics? So if more white people registered to vote and people who that wasn't a barrier, that doesn't help your more case at all. More blacks were registered to vote. You, you don't know no, the I'm studies. Asking you. you haven't been paying I'm attention. Asking you. You I'm haven't asking you. read them. I'm asking you. I black, haven't, yes, overall, I haven't read them. All registration, all the law, so all black registration, registration went up, in Indiana. Black. So black registration went up in Indiana after a photo ID law. And one of the, if that's the okay, case. Okay, here's the most, here's the most important question before I go. This is the really most important question you need to really think about. Is that is a black, low info Democrat voter any more sacred than mine and being a Republican? Uh, well, yeah. I, think really, uh, I, I think we really, I think we really got down I to think it right you there. Revealed yourself it's been there, revealed now, and I think that every vote your is constitution, sacred, your constitution that you love so much. I mean, I don't think there's any. Uh, uh, you just said that they are so black. No, nope. we didn't say nope. we didn't say that. that. Yeah, we hearing, didn't say that. You're hearing things. You're hearing things. No one's canceling oh. your vote. Oh. We, we got to switch. All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna let you go now. Let me just say something to you. If you need, if you need, I took you down because you're raising everybody's cortisol level. You really need to take a breath. If you need to have that belief. And you need to believe that you came. If you need to came, believe that you came on the show, <laughs> and you dominated and you won and you exposed and whatever, then have that belief. I'm into it. Go enjoy yourself. You smoked us. Go call some you know other show and and rant about the quote low inform black Democrat voter, and go enjoy your day. Take care. All right, put the phones back up. We're going to hang up before yes. I put the phones back up, but we should make the switch in about a minute. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. You know, this was the same guy who called in as he was this, this strong constitutional guy. You know, it's all about the... Con did, is there anything in the Constitution, Michael, about uh, black voters and uh, how much of their vote counts compared to Republicans or white voters? Well, in the classical sense of the Constitution that this guy seems to have a lot of sympathy That's for. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Maybe not the best point to make when talking about this, constant, this classic constitutional guy.